everyone, over here, we're back, and today we have another Court Case Show React. I've been really enjoying reacting to these. I have seen a lot of positive comments of you guys really enjoying them and interacting, so I'm going to keep doing them as long as I find interesting ones that I think are kind of fun and have a little back and forth. I know some of them can be kind of confusing, um because I do have to kind of cut out some parts, but I try and make it as, like, understandable as I can. But, I mean, so far so good. I'm really enjoying it. I am planning to do a couple of different things later on this week. But for now, we have a court case show react. Let's get started. According to what I read in the complaint, you made a loan to him. Yes, I did. Your father does not deny that you made a loan to him. He says, however, that as a condition of his repaying the loan, you agreed to stay in school and stay off of drugs. And he says that you didn't. So he's not repaying the loan unless he can put it in some sort of an account where you can't touch it until you're 21. It's a little bit of background here. Background, according to you, is that you didn't have much of a relationship with your dad for most of your growing up. You lived with your mother. Your father, at some point, was incarcerated for an extended period of time. He got out of jail, you developed a relationship with him, moved in with him for a short period of time. You got a settlement of some sort. Yes. How much was the settlement? It was for $8,960 or $7,000. $9,000. Yes. So right when, I don't know if they're saying like shortly after she got this settlement that she moved in with her dad and then her dad's like, hey, can I borrow some money? Daughter who I haven't really had a relationship with. That, that never, ever works out when one of your parents, who you are not really that close to, you haven't really known most of your life, they weren't there during, you know, pivotal moments of your life, and then they ask you for money, it's always a red flag. And it was at that time that he asked you for the loan? Yes. When was that, Ms. Harmon? He asked me for it um, November 28th of 2005. Were you living in the house with him at yes, that time? Yes, I was. What did he say he wanted the money for? He wants, you know, this girl with like her zigzaggy um, part of her hair. I that was that's such a like mid 2000s, early 2000s thing. Like, I remember so many girls doing the like zigzaggy, uh, like thing, you know, part. <laughs> uh, so many girls I knew did that, and I think it was like Christina Aguilera that created that, or some celebrity that did that, and then everybody like lost their mind and all the females had to do it um but it it like and some were yeah like hers like a really big like zigzag or like little zigzags wow i've not thought about that hairstyle in a long time and i am kind of very glad <laughs> that it went away 2350 to buy a new car and 600 to go see my stepmother's oldest daughter in medford oregon that's not true i never borrowed 600 dollars for a trip from her well how much did you borrow in total from her 2150 the vehicle was actually so christina had a car she had the money to do driver safety we'd already set it up Just with... wait so he borrowed money from his daughter so that she could buy a car that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Why couldn't she just go and buy her own car? Oh, and by the way, so at the beginning of this, they said that she is, so she is 18 years old is uh, what they said. Um, just so we're clear, I guess. I think it's kind of, it, it, I mean, it may not be obvious. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, she is 18. Okay, Mr. Tolan, how much did you take out of your account to give to him? I took out 2900 out of my account. I wrote a check to my bank. Let me see. What's this one right here? That you were to check to your bank? Okay. It says $2,900, sir. That's not what she gave me. She gave me $2,100. And my wife can attest to that. In a check or cash? Cash. Okay. Let's say I believe you. Okay. Did he also give you a car? Um, no, he was going to give me the car, but then he decided not to, and he was going to sell it to my cousin once he got his taxes. So what? Wait, once he got his what back? Hold on. Back. His taxes back? So he borrowed money from his daughter to buy a car, and then because she did something that he deemed wrong, he's going to sell the car that she bought to his cousin or her cousin once he gets his taxes back? What does that have to do with any that's weird 
Um, but clearly that's his car. My guess is that she, this like settlement money was when she was under the age of 18. So I think there's like some loopholes where like you can't access it at, at a young age. Um, I, I thought you had to be 18 to access that certain money, but may, maybe with like a, your, you know, her dad's help, she was able to get that money. And he probably promised her like, hey, why don't we buy you a car with that money? And he put it mainly under his name because he wanted a car. Again, when your estranged parent starts asking for money, red flags all over the place. And I know she probably was just helping him. And he, when he said, like, hey, let's get you a car. She was like, wow, that's great. This is what I want. Um, oh, poor kid. Did you ever have possession of that car? No, I did not. And title in your name? No, I did not. Okay. That's not true, Your Honor. She had title in her name? She didn't have title in her name because she didn't get the, she she had didn't the, the keys truck. to the vehicle. They were so, so you're the parent. You can, the kid, she can drive it, but it's not, it's clearly not her car if her name is not on the title. You put the name only in your, the title only in your name, so you, God, ugh. I'm not surprised that the dad would do this and think that, like, oh, well, you know, I was allowing her to have a car in my presence, even though she's the one that paid for it. Yeah, she, had, she got it. Listen to me, I don't care okay. if she had keys to the vehicle, it's not her car. Where's the car now? The car's in Salem right now. With whom? With a friend of mine. That's not her car. No, it's not now because she didn't hold it. It never was. It never was her car. It sounds like it was your car that you let her borrow. For the bargain. Listen to me. When you asked your daughter for money, what were the conditions? The conditions were that she stay in school. No, you're asking drugs. for money. You're the borrower. You, wait, yeah. <laughs> I, oh, my God. The con So, wait. He, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He's asking his daughter for money, and the stipulation is you have to stay in school, and then I will give you your money back. I would be like, then you don't get, I'm not going to give you this money. Like, I mean, I guess, like, clearly if she wants to stay in school, that's fine, but, like, there shouldn't be a stipulation of, I will only give you this money back if you stay in school. It should work the other way, like, Hey, Dad, can I borrow $2,900 for a car? I promise I'll stay in school. And then when she doesn't stay in school, he takes the car away. That makes more sense. Oh, God, I can't believe it. I might have connected it earlier, but, like, I re like I just realized that. <laughs> like, yeah, you can't put a stipulation when you're the one borrowing the money. I mean, I guess you can, but, and, and he did. But, oh my god, oh god, this guy. You don't set the conditions of the return of the money, the Mr. Tolan. I don't think you understand how stupid your defense is. You say to your daughter, I want money, let's say $2,100. Let's say $2,100. I'm not there yet, but let's just say $2,100. And you say, I'd like to borrow $2,100 because I want money to buy a car. And I will pay you back if you stay in school and if you don't do drugs, if I were your daughter, I'd right, say, take a walk, walk. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Like, could you imagine you go to, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example, but I honestly can't think of anything because this is so ridiculous that I can't come up with something more dumb. <laughs> what kind of ridiculousness is that? I'm doing you a favor by loaning you $2,100 and you're going to set the conditions on repaying me? That sounds stupid, doesn't that sound stupid to you? Does so, it sound stupid to you? It sounds very that's stupid true. to me if that was the story, but she... That, that is the story. That's it. That's what it sounds like. Can I borrow... Hi, daughter. May I borrow $2,900 so I can get us a car that we drive together? But I will only... And I'll pay you back that money. I will. I promise. But if you do drugs or you, you know, stuck going to school, I, I guess high school, I assume, um... Yeah, no, I won't ever pay you that money back. Like, I don't know. That just sounds, it, it should really work the other way around. <laughs> came to me asking for the vehicle, and I told her I would give her the vehicle on condition. Wait, you can't, no, that's her vehicle if she paid for it. That's not your vehicle. Like, yeah, you're, I guess your name is on the title, but she paid for it with the money that, well, I guess you paid for it, but with her money. <laughs> 
because I was trying to teach her to be responsible. I'm not talking about the vehicle. And you should have bought, I, 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 yeah, like, then if you want to teach her to be responsible, then when she comes to you and says, like, hey, Dad, I really want a car, you could be like, okay, I will get you a car. We'll go and look for a $2,000 car. God, 2000 Five was a crazy time. You can't find cars for that cheap now, at least that run. Um, <laughs> but he could have bought her a car, and then, yeah, if she stops going to school or, or he catches her doing something she's not supposed to, then you take the car away. That teaches responsibility. The other way around is just stealing. Talking about the $2,100 for your car. I understand that. I'm talking about my daughter's life. I'm passionate about drug no. and alcohol. Dude, you're pa I mean... Okay, maybe I'm not going to take away that he, he doesn't love his daughter. Maybe he does. But when clearly he was in and out of her life for, through most of her life, I'm not saying that you can't turn it all around. But again, if you're going to take money from her and then the moment that, you know, she has a setback, you're like, well, you don't get your money and your car. And I'm truth. not going to let her Listen die. to me. <laughs> so you'd give her $2,100 to go kill herself with. What? But she had the money. What are you talking about? She had the money. And, and no, of course, nobody would do that. But, like, that's... She has money. What she said? Someone was $9,000? I mean, I guess, again, you need a parent or, you know, how old she is now, which is 18, um, to access that money. But she has money. Like, you can't just, like... What? Mr. Tolan... Listen to me. I've had five children that I raised. Oh, I, didn't, I, understand. I didn't know she had five kids. Wow. And I guarantee you, sir, I have not been in prison. And I guarantee you that I've been in my children's lives from the time that they took a breath. Okay? So I can guarantee you that I'm as passionate about my children's welfare as you. Okay. So what I'm saying to you is it doesn't make sense for you to say to anyone, including your daughter, can I borrow some money, but I'm only going to pay you back if you do this. If you get a job, if you stay in school, if you break up with this boy, if you stop hanging out with this person, otherwise, I'm not going to borrow the money from you. <laughs> I don't, no, no, don't, okay. I don't answer your question. Okay. Ooh. I don't answer Wait, he was going to be like, oh, okay, well, what about this? Yeah, no. Dude, you are so in the wrong. It's, it makes no sense. To your questions. What you're saying to me sounds stupid. And if it sounds stupid, it's not true. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,900, because that's what you took. That's all. Okay, and that's the end of this video. I did want to talk about the, you know, afterthoughts. I can't play it. Music. Um, but basically, the daughter said, like, he told me that we were doing this so that we could have a closer relationship. And I'm sure he said, like, hey, let's get you a car. And she said that. And then what he says is, okay, so basically, Judge Judy just now gave my daughter the right to go uh, do something she's not supposed to end her life, basically. Um, no, that is not what Judge Judy did. And if you want to rationalize it in your head, however you want, guy, that's on you. And then the daughter's final thoughts were, I did do drugs, but I've been clean for a year and a half now. So he just used it as an excuse, and he just used his daughter for a car. Again, many red flags. Don't just give your strange parents or children or any of, you know, people you don't really know very well. Just don't give them money. Don't do it. Actually, even people you know very well still don't give them money. It never, usually doesn't end up too well. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. Let's talk all things this case in the comments below. And until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye.